November was finally here, and November 15th, Michigan's opening day rifle season, was right around the corner. But first, the guys were hopping in their truck and driving over the Mighty Mac as we crossed into God's country and arrived at Deer Camp in the 906. Things were the highest of highs as the crew gathered for their 19th consecutive deer season together and their 16th in the same field. Now it didn't take long for the wolves to make their presence known as I had a pack of five show up every single day forcing me to put boots to the ground and scout out a new area. And speaking of scouting, Tanner was doing some of it and found a nice shed that the guys were all riled up on. So grab a cold beer and crack it open and join us for our 19th consecutive deer season together. Yes, ma'am. All righty, out of the 20 and 10. Have a Thank good Thank you. You too. Me and uh, Tanner left about, I don't know, it's probably around 5 o'clock to go get some groceries. We came back, made dinner, and went over to the tent, and both of them were in bed. Sleeping, eh? Huh. Yeah. Wore out it. Darkness had crept in on the 906 as we rolled into deer camp, and the guys were working on setting up the tent and their campers when we arrived. First things first, a cold drink was in store, and then it was time to get the camper ready as we all got a little rowdy in it that night. Here's Matt's extra one dollar. Okay, where it comes from? No. Uh, yeah. Big, I didn't know. I want to park it. Yeah. 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 But this is taking all this money. Well, I'll do it for a time too. Minimated lemonade. Big minimated lemonade and vodka. I thought I did it already. I'm sorry. The morning started out with a nice breakfast that Matt ended up cooking for us, and then it was off to the woods to check some cameras, but not before seeing a real nice buck that David had show up overnight. And boy, did that get us all excited. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You got some long yeah. G2s there. I wouldn't have for it. And look at that a little spike. I love it. Small up like that. So good. <coughs> Are you looking at it? So excited. I don't know. Just look at it. Just look at it. Just look at that son of a gun. No kicker Shooter. action. No kicker action. No. Shooter. You got shot in the neck there, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's on his way out. Mm -hmm. You gotta put that out of your shoulder a little. Inch forward. He's just gonna stand there like that. Like, like that. Like that. No. Spike or something. She looks aggravated. No, she's she's a buck. She's a buck. That's she why she's like. <laughs> she got a brow tie. Why does it look so feminine? It looks like a no. Yeah. yeah. She just. Why is it long eyelashes and shit? Is that he? She. Better not have a she unidentified. Deer. Better not have brow tie. They have those. Juice. Uh, what do you got there? They're all coons. Look at that fowl. You don't. You don't say that. We're raccoons. Raccoons. We're so racist. I know. I'm allowed to. I know it. <coughs> yeah. 
While the camp was out checking cameras and doing a little scouting, Tanner found the shed of a buck from the season prior that we had all hoped would come in on opening day. Like goofy brown time going down. No you more smell? beers, you're on no. TV. You smell it, huh? There. Mm -hmm. I lost my right? yeah, yeah. yeah. to go down. Nobody here but us trees. <laughs> Come on with your little hat. Hurley. Yeah. Look up Hurley, Wisconsin. That that was like the longest. <laughs> oh, these are shot. You get newer ones. I get warm in here. Come on in. 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 Oh really? Somebody rode back there on a four-wheeler, but I don't know if they went as far as we go back. Or I, I'm going back. But that guy usually goes back there, and he drives his four-wheeler back there, and then he runs it around. And he must have been hung up on a log last year because the fucking <laughs> lights were going like this in the trees. Then he only went probably about three more seconds, so he shut it off. Why? Because of the cast. Oh, yep. Uh, and there was a den so on the back side, not on this property. Mike. What's up, Jer? Grant's got yeah, can you back there? Jake's ready. We're huh? standing probably 10, 12 feet from him, you know. Jake yeah. keeps yeah. raising his hand, bullshit. and you. Uh... He can totally do it in the character than that, so. Yeah, I think you it. Was it 2 o'clock? <laughs> The fresh blueberries out of the Upper Peninsula Marsh. I heard a lot of candy from all that. I drank a couple more beers. Oh, you Here's drunk. <laughs> you don't see that very often. Get out of here, Randy. What time do you leave here, though? We don't want you over here. One? Oh. <laughs> Bubby got half of the potato stock taste. You should just use that plate, and then when you're all done, flip her over, and you don't have to go up for seconds. Yeah. It's good. Huh? 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 Huh?
okay. Might give you something left for that. Mm -hmm. right, but yeah, let me get close to the pulpit a little bit. It is 5.55, November 15th, and we are in the 906. That's right, it's rifle season. Orange Army's up, they're already making their way through the woods. Some of the guys are just getting up, and uh, we're all gonna head on to our stands. But first, we gotta wish everyone some good luck. Good luck. Good luck, Jerry. See you tonight. Yep, we'll be dragging. Good luck. Good luck, dear. Good luck. Good luck, man. Yeah. Nobody flipped her down this morning. Good luck, boys. You too. Should be uh, fine. You know, you're not going to stay out very long, right? I'll be out by uh, 7.30. It's pretty right. cold. A couple hours after you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, good luck. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Well, it is November 15th and it's 7.58 a.m. And we just had our second deer walk by. 
Look like a nice young doe. She kind of mon mostly ended up this way and then went back and then cut into the uh, woods there. She kept looking behind her and uh, wonder if there's a buck behind her because there's been a spike in here, Jason. So she's probably been on edge from that. Got a couple really nice bucks in here too and hopefully we'll get a shot at one. There's uh, two that would definitely make me really, really happy, so hopefully one of them will come out. We did have a guy move near us, which I'm not too keen about, but it is what it is, and it's public land, so we're gonna make the best of the situation. The boys are all out in their stands right now. I haven't heard anything, but we did have a uh, pair of coyote tracks coming through here that I sent to the guys, so. We had uh, snow about eh, maybe a half inch come in overnight. We're expected about three inches and it's coming. It's going to come for quite a while. So hopefully after that lets up, the deer will really be moving. But we're going to stay focused because it's opening day. Well, we just saw our first buck of the day. A nice young year and a half old four point. He came in for a little bit and uh, the snow really started to come on down heavy. And he started to mosey on out of here. I, uh, I expected them to move just before this, you know, front really pushed in. And uh, sure, is, uh, sure is looking like that was the case there, so. I'm expecting to snow most of the evening now and hopefully right after that it'll be real good um, especially tomorrow morning so we're gonna continue to sit tight and uh, weather out the storm deer with him. I couldn't tell what it was. It's so, so tight in here with the snow dropping over. I pick up my scope and it's all fogged up. And he came in. I, I had to use the camera to see, you know, how many points he had. And as soon as I could tell he was a shouter, I kept doing my, my scope and doing it and doing it and trying to get it, you know, fogged off. And finally got a shot off and I dropped him and he just ran off. Smoked him, baby. Yes! Just punch 
Mickey Doug on a nice Michigan buck here in the Upper Peninsula. A beautiful white six point. Just a beautiful deer. I tell you what, what a crazy hunt this has been. My blind caved in on me twice now. I can't believe this. That I just fixed it up and he came right out with another deer and I was able to get a shot at him. Oh man, what a great deer. Yes. I just can't believe that just happened. That was awesome. Like I said, I, I I had my fog, my scope all fogged up. I think it was just from the heavy breathing in here and and uh, the moisture and everything from being in this wet environment. And uh, I finally got it dried off enough where I can get a shot. And I ended up taking it and down he went. So I'm just tickled to death. That's 25 years in a row that I've gotten a deer in the uh, Upper Peninsula here in Michigan. So. I couldn't be happier, and uh, to make things better, I go to send a picture to the guys, I open my phone, and Bub's got one down, so that's two deer down for us. I'm sure we're going to get plenty more with the snow coming to a halt now, so uh, I'm just going to sit tight, and, you know, just cherish this memory that I just made at 4.01 p.m., so <sighs> hopefully more deer will be moving. Did it again. How'd you, uh, how'd you do? Oh, don't fawn and a uh, spike. Yeah. Yeah, pretty slow. Got a lot of snow though. I think that really slowed everything down for a while. I think it did too. I think tomorrow's gonna be phenomenal. Should be real good. You ready? Yeah, we got three down, so. Oh, you got three? Yeah. Who shot the third one? Michael. The kid? Yeah. Buck? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll. All right. Going on. What's happening, man? Uh -uh. Woo! Did you shoot? Yeah. Atta boy. Let's hear the story. Uh, hold my cookie. I'll hold your cookie. <laughs> Fine, I'll hold your cookie. All right, so we went out at night towards probably like 2 o'clock. Sat there for 20 minutes. Had a doe run through real fast. And after that, we had a little spike come through and uh, that ran through real fast too and then we sat there probably 45 minutes or an hour and then we had a one antler deer come through sat on the walked right to the bait pile sat there and then we had a six point walk in and it was looking right at me and stopped so I had my gun on it started walking a little farther and it stopped perfectly broadside so I shot him and it ran 40 yards and dropped nice Yep. First Thank UP you. buck, baby! Woo! That's cool. What'd you see, Jake? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be good. It's slow today. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I hope so. Yep. 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 What'd you see? Fucking blizzard. Uh, about five does or so. All the trails are all bent over. All the it is brutal. All <laughs> this is all everything bent over, yeah. I thought I cleared everything off the gym, but I guess the truck sits higher. Fucking yeah. so I took I my it. windshield out and he still I took his <laughs> out. <laughs> After Bub and I got our bucks out of the woods, it was time to make the long track back to Mike's spot to get his first ever Upper Peninsula public land buck out of the woods. We had our work cut out for us, dragging this youngster's buck out from the brush and hanging all three bucks at the buck pole. Coming back to deer camp on opening night and hearing all the stories from the successful hunters and even the not so successful ones is a part of the process I will always enjoy. Seeing everyone gather around the buck pole with a cold beer and enjoying the success of the day oh, yeah. will always bring a smile to my face. Oh, she's got rigor mortis. Not a bad buck. No. Nice, man. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Get in there and smile next to that thing. Get that stiff son of a gun lifted up. So hold it so you can see the goddamn rack. <laughs> Awesome, man. Yeah. Oh, 
Jeez. Done it. Yeah. That's nice deer. Yeah, it is. Your peabuck stinks. Fuck yeah. It looked like a 20 point coming through the woods. I told Moto Mike, shoot it, man, shoot it. And he did. <laughs> Damn near black. They probably stood out good against the snow. Yeah. It's black. Uh. Very nice. Oh, no, your gear fell out. Come on. What'd you do with the deer? Gary. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Check my cameras, walk down in the morning, good. This is all got out of the night, put yours to the branch. Yeah, yeah. It'll just lean down the tree. Yeah. My tree was shaking too. <laughs> Only this big around. Yeah. Yeah. See a bunch of deer. <laughs> you see There's 
are a little icy. As usual, it didn't take Matt long to get on the buck pole as he was able to put his tag on a nice Upper Peninsula public land buck early in the morning on day two. And I gotta be honest, it made me eager to get back in the blind. And luckily for me, Matt offered to drive me back as he planned on staying in camp that evening. And on our way out, we heard some more good news coming from the woods. Buck down. We got a buck down. Dave Matthew, shall we? Find out what it is. Well, it is 2.43 p.m. and it is November 16th here in the 906. We just made our way to our blind. Ran into another hunter who was hunting off the trail up a ways from me. He uh, he walked back here just to see where I was at, but uh, I don't think he had any idea I was here until I shot yesterday because I got in, in in the morning and I noticed their blind was up and really, I, I had no idea, you know, he was there either, but in all fairness, his blind was not there on the uh, 14th at three o'clock, so talked to him for a minute and he moved his blind a ways um so that was good uh looks like there's quite a few tracks in the snow and dave and matt both got deer today matt got a five point and just got a text from dave saying he got an eight point so it's already been eventful i wouldn't be surprised if we get more deer on the ground tonight as night fell day two came to a close in the deer woods and we had three more successful hunters who were able to wrap their tag around a nice Michigan Upper Peninsula public land buck. A father and son duel were now challenging each other for the buck pole. Hi, Jay. Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Did you know Tanner shot one too? Yeah. I didn't know. That's a good that shot, the one you shoot him, him in the neck. You don't waste a lot of meat. Times. Yeah. And it's just, it was, it was kind of low in the neck, too. I thought it was. I heard it, too, and then I got a snap right after. Oh, the multiple shots? Yeah. It was. <laughs> I never heard that because I was in the camp. I thought I heard it. Oh, man. We're we're just... I mean, it might turn into all the like, deal. Yeah, okay. Missing one. Yeah. November, it's 2.35 p.m., and we're back in the ground blind right now. 
we got a snow coming down and um, it's coming at a decent rate we're supposed to get a little bit of snow for about an hour and then it's supposed to let up quite a few tracks in the area right here so i'm expecting the movement to pick up this afternoon did not hunt this morning had a few too many uh beers so we ended up sleeping in but we're very hopeful this evening everybody's going out a couple guys are going to be hunting a new spot so there's definitely high hopes in the in the deer camp so we're going to sit down and let the snow pass through and hopefully get a buck after this Well, just made our way back to the trailhead here and uh, we're gonna wait for Matt to come and pick us up. I had a fawn and a doe come out at last light, but I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna shoot her, um, you know, with a fawn there. I'll give her a better chance of survival that way. Um, even though she'll probably get kicked off during the rut, I just, I felt like it was the right thing to do. And I'm glad I didn't have red snow today because this is the second time this has ever happened to me but I literally have walked right out of my boot. Um, I can't believe I did that. Well, it is the 18th of November, and it's just after two o'clock, and we are back in the campground. That's what this spot's called, and for good reason. Um, seen one, two, three deer here last night. Uh, no deer in camp, but the weather's kind of changed. It's sunny out. Uh, there's a light breeze. It's been snowing lately and uh, that stopped. So I think tonight could be good. I think every night's going to be good. You just never know. That's what I love about hunting. But unfortunately, it's the last sit. So with that being said, we're hoping uh, a deer comes out. We can fill a tag before heading home. But we'll be packing up and heading home in the morning. So we're going to make the most of this and enjoy this last sit up here in the 906. Well, things are coming to a close, and uh, it's 
It's always a bummer when you gotta leave here, but you gotta go home, see the family, go back to work, and save up for next year so you can do it all over again. I, uh, I'm gonna miss this spot. It was a nice spot. I definitely look forward to getting back in here and uh, seeing what's in here in the spring and summer, and uh, hopefully we can get on a good one. Um, we had a pretty successful season up here. We ended up with uh, six bucks and one doe, to my knowledge, so far. I haven't heard anything from the guys in the text group, but doesn't mean that there's one on the ground, but it's it's been real. Can't wait to get back up to the UP. It's so cold, the impact, and it was like bloody uh, dust. Yeah, like froze. Like, yeah, little, little, little uh, snowflakes, mm -hmm. that was kind of weird. But came out. Oh, hey, coming out with the spike. That's part because we don't have to wear. Right. It'll be all chunk. <laughs> See you later. And just like that, David capped off deer camp with a beautiful doe, and another successful deer camp was in the books. All that was left now was our annual last day Thanksgiving feast, and we'd be headed out in the morning. Ta -da! Ta -da! Cans of the West is boiling. <laughs> She's gone. Congrats, Tanner. I don't know. I've seen these three years. Yeah, I've seen those three pictures. I mean, they're about like two. After years of traveling over the bridge to Deer Camp, I can't recall a worse storm that greeted us as we traveled home. The roads were terrible as a big storm took out St. Ignace and most of the lower peninsula, making for an uneasy drive. Luckily, snow didn't keep other hunters from coming out of the woods as well, and despite low deer numbers at the bridge, we were still fortunate enough to see some really nice bucks during our travels. 
Now it was time to put the 2022 rifle season in the rear view mirror and start daydreaming about the 2023 deer season.